Assalamualaikum. Welcome back, guys, to my YouTube channel. Uh, so this video will be about how to use isotopes in Gaussian calculations. So uh, someone asked me the question if we can use isotopes in Gaussian. So the answer is definitely yes. Uh, but uh, how can we use it? I'm going to show you in this video. So for example, we'll take uh, water molecule. Uh, here it is. And uh, if I want to use uh, one of these hydrogens as a deuterium, or maybe both of them, like D2O or 1D, 1H, uh, you can do both of them. Uh, for that, you just need to use the, the keyword read isotopes. So if I uh, set up the calculation and uh, I optimize it, I'll leave the method and everything else uh, as it is. And uh, here I can write that it is optimization of D2O, for example. Uh, now, I'll just uh, re put the additional keywords as uh, brick is equal to read isotopes. So, as you know that uh, uh, using this keyword, uh, it, it won't have anything to do with the optimization because uh, the energy of the molecule won't be changed by uh, changing the isotope, but definitely the frequency will because uh, if the mass of the atom will be changed, its frequency will be different. So, if I edit this file, uh, first I save it as D2O and then I have used the keyword read isotopes, but I have to uh, specify here which atom I'm uh, I want to use its isotope. So, uh, in front of hydrogen, I'll just write down ISO is equal to. So, here I can give the exact mass of the deuterium, uh, which you can find from Google. It's 2.014. So, I'll just write it 2.014. And uh, then I'll use the same for the other hydrogen. So now both of these hydrogens will be uh, uh, treated as deuterium, while oxygen will be its normal isotope. So if I control S and save the file, now I can run the file. And uh, in the result, you will uh, get the frequencies of the uh, deuterium instead of simple proteum. So let the calculation finish. Um, sorry, as I just put it on one processor. That's why it took so long. Otherwise, it it shouldn't took that long. Take that long. In. So. If I load this file, I'll just go to results and then vibrations. Uh, just have a look at the different vibrations. So uh, this way you, you can easily calculate the uh, frequency of the isotopes uh, with the help of Gaussian. So, just have a look at the file. Uh, previously, it was the checkpoint file. Now, I have opened the log file, which uh, easily gives you the frequencies. All right, that was about using isotopes in Gaussian. Uh, and if you have any questions related to this, uh, you can just post in the comment section, and I'll try my best to answer it as soon as I can. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please do like and subscribe the channel and uh, share the video with your friends. Uh, I'll see you in some next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.